Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to turn any image or logo into a 3D animation using Element 3D in After Effects with just a few simple steps. Let's get started. I have downloaded this Instagram PNG logo, but you can use any logo you like to create this animation. First I'll toggle off the main clip so we can focus on the Instagram logo. If your downloaded logo appears too large, make sure to scale it down so it fits properly within your composition. Next pre-compose the logo layer. Make sure both move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected. Then rename the pre-comp to whatever you prefer, in my case I'll name it Instagram. Now it's important to apply masks around the logo. To do it quickly without manual masking, go to layer and choose auto trace. Since this is a still image, make sure the current frame is selected, then click OK. Now that we've applied several masks to our Instagram logo, we can begin animating it. First duplicate the Instagram layer. To stay organized, rename the top layer to Instagram slash masks, then rename the bottom copy to textures. On the textures layer, press M on the keyboard to expand all masks, and make sure to delete all the masks from the bottom copy. The first part is complete. Now toggle off both layers, then create a new solid layer. Name it element, and make sure its size matches your composition. Either set it manually or click make comp size and hit OK. Move the element solid layer above all other layers, then apply element 3D to it. Expand custom layers, then custom text and masks and change layer 1 to the Instagram slash masks layer. Next expand custom texture maps and change layer 1 to the textures layer. Now click scene setup to open the element window. Click on extrude and here you'll see the Instagram 3D logo. Let's adjust it and apply the textures. Expand extrusion model, select bevel 1, and increase the extrude value slightly to make the logo thicker. Then enable use layers UV. Scroll down to textures and click on diffuse. In the drop down, select custom layer 1 to apply the textures. Click OK and now the Instagram logo is fully 3D. You can hit OK again to save your changes and continue adjusting it in After Effects. Let's expand group 1, then particle replicator. You can control the logo's position by adjusting the position X, Y, and Z values to place it wherever you want. You can also expand rotation to rotate the logo as you wish. The most interesting part is here, expand particle look, then multi object and enable it. Under rotation, you'll see rotation random, increasing this creates a cool 3D rotation animation of the logo. Let's keyframe it and check the animation. At the very beginning of the layer, click the stopwatch icon next to rotation random to add a default keyframe. Then scroll to the end of the layer and increase rotation random until you're happy with the animation. Now let's play the video to see the effect. That's it. We've created an impressive 3D animation from scratch using just a few simple steps. Now you can toggle the main clip back on and track it with the Instagram logo animation. Let me also show you how to easily track this 3D logo into your video, in case you're not familiar with the process. Let's start by toggling off the element layer for a moment, then make sure to select your original video clip. Click on track camera and wait for it to finish analyzing. Once the analysis is complete, select some tracking points where you want the 3D logo to be tracked. For example, I want it to follow the car, so I'll create a null and camera right on the car like this. Now toggle the element layer back on. To make sure the 3D logo follows the car perfectly, select the track null layer and press P on your keyboard to reveal the position property. Copy only the Z value. Then select the element layer and paste the Z value into the position Z field. From here, you can adjust the X and Y positions to place the logo exactly where you want it. If the logo appears too large or too small, you can easily scale it from the particle size. Once everything is set, play the video to check if the Instagram logo is perfectly tracked. As you can see in my case, it works just perfectly. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.